In this example, we will continue exploring the A parameter. Determine the trigonometric function corresponding to each graph. In part A, write a sine function for the graph shown. On the y-axis, it takes 4 ticks to get to 8. 8 divided by 4 equals 2, so the ticks are spaced 2 units apart. In method 1, we'll inspect the graph to get the sine function. By inspection, we can see that the graph has an amplitude of 6 units. The function is y equals 6 sine theta. In method 2, we'll use formulas to get the sine function. The general form of a sinusoidal graph is y equals a sine b theta minus c plus d, or y equals a cos b theta minus c plus d. We can use these formulas to construct a trigonometric function when we know the values of a, b, c, and d. The maximum value of the graph is 6, and the minimum value is negative 6. Use the amplitude formula, a equals max minus min over 2. Plug the maximum and minimum values into the formula. This gives us 12 over 2, which becomes 6. We have not covered b, c, or d yet, so just use b equals 1, c equals 0, and d equals 0. Plug the parameters into the sine function. Simplify to get the function y equals 6 sine theta. This is the same function we obtained using method 1. In part b, write a sine function for the graph shown. On the y-axis, it takes 7 ticks to get to 28. 28 divided by 7 equals 4, so the ticks are spaced 4 units apart. In method 1, we'll inspect the graph to get the sine function. The amplitude of the graph is 12. The graph is upside down relative to y equals sine theta, so insert a negative sign. The function is y equals negative 12 sine theta. In method 2, we'll use formulas to get the sine function. The minimum value of the graph is negative 12, and the maximum value is 12. Use the amplitude formula, a equals max minus min over 2. Plug the maximum and minimum values into the formula. This gives us 24 over 2, which becomes 12. The graph is upside down relative to sine theta, so remember to insert a negative when we write the function. We have not covered b, c, or d yet, so just use b equals 1, c equals 0, and d equals 0. Plug the parameters into the sine function. Simplify to get the function y equals negative 12 sine theta. This is the same function we obtained using method 1. In part c, 
write a cosine function for the graph shown. On the y-axis, it takes 5 ticks to get to 1. 1 over 5 equals 0 0.2, so the ticks are spaced 0 0.2 units apart. In method 1, we'll inspect the graph to get the cosine function. The amplitude is 0 0.4 units, where 2 over 5 is a fraction. The function is y equals 2 over 5 cos theta. In method 2, we'll use formulas to get the cosine function. The maximum value of the graph is 0 0.4, and the minimum value is negative 0.4. Use the amplitude formula, a equals max minus min over 2. Plug the maximum and minimum values into the formula. This gives us 0 0.8 over 2, which becomes 0 0.4. We have not covered b, c, or d yet, so just use b equals 1, c equals 0, and d equals 0. Plug the parameters into the cosine function. Simplify to get the function y equals 2 over 5 cos theta. This is the same function we obtained using method 1. In part D, write a cosine function for the graph shown. On the y-axis, each tick is one unit. In method 1, we'll inspect the graph to get the cosine function. The amplitude is 0 0.25, or 1 over 4 is a fraction. The graph is upside down relative to y equals cos theta. The function is y equals negative 1 over 4 cos theta. In method 2, we'll use formulas to get the cosine function. The minimum value of the graph is negative 0.25, and the maximum value is 0 0.25. Use the amplitude formula, a equals max minus min over 2. Plug the maximum and minimum values into the formula. This gives us 0 0.5 over 2, which becomes 0 0.25. The graph is upside down relative to cos theta, so remember to insert a negative when we write the function. Plug the parameters into the cosine function. Simplify to get the function y equals negative 1 over 4 cos theta. This is the same function we obtained using method 1.